Hello students, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to let you all know the important concepts as well as the equations related to the course refrigeration and air conditioning under J2H for R18 as well as R16 regulation. Dear students, in order to clear this course, a student should have basic fundamentals of the course thermodynamics as well as thermal engineering, failing which you cannot uh, take this course. And in order to work out this course, you should have a basic fundamentals related to the most of the problems will be asked than the theory and you can expect 80 percent of the problems than 20 percent of the theory in this question paper. Whichever the concepts I am going to work out for you all here in this today's video, please go through each and every concept and work accordingly to clear this subject and as it is also a scoring subject and do not forget to carry your calculator as well as the pens and all the stationery to your exam hall. Let us look at the unit 1. Unit 1 is all about the refrigeration. There may be a questions like uh, define ton of refrigeration or it unit or COP as well as the applications and the problems related to it. This may be one of the gunshot question. Later the ideal cycle refrigeration and its types and the problems related to it. These two concepts I am expecting 1 A as well as 1 B for this time in your question paper dear students. Later they may be asking you a simple question like for a 5 mark to explain the difference between the open air system as well as dense air system it is asked many times. Later under it a 10 mark problem related to bell column and cycle or the Brayton cycle you need to have a, a clear understanding in these two concepts where the problem will be asked for sure and this is also one of the gunshot question related to bell column and cycle. Later it is all about the air refrigeration, its systems and the types and the applications of air refrigerants. You should have a basic knowledge on the theory to work out the problems dear students. Later the refrigeration needs of the aircraft related to it are problems were asked and I am expecting this to be a gunshot question and based on these three concepts you will be getting 2A as well as 2B dear students. Make sure to cover each and every topic which I have kept here on the paper so that you are going to clear this subject in a single attempt. Later the second unit is all about the vapor compression refrigeration and its components and the working principle. Dear students if you look at the concepts which I am going to talk for each and every concept you are supposed to work out its components and its working principle as well as advantages and applications sometimes they will be asking the comparison also. Later COP of vapor compression refrigeration and related to it a problem as well as representation of cycle on TS as well as pH chart and the problems related to it is one of the gunshot question and the very very important you should know how to read TS as well as pH charts. Later a sub cooling versus superheating you are supposed to work out its effects also and the differences of both. Later the influence of various parameters on actual cycle performance is also one of the gunshot question and the problems related to pH chart. Based on these concepts you will be getting one question that is 3A as well as B and based on these concepts you will be getting 4A as well as 4B dear students. A student who is failing difficulty in clearing the subject as per the COVID pattern you are going to get 8 questions of which you are supposed to attempt any 5. The first unit contains 2 questions as well as second unit contains the 2 questions. Make sure to work out and you can write 4 out of 4 questions if you are perfect with these concepts which I have explained here. Later the unit 3 is all about the much of I mean the 50 percent of the, uh, uh, the theory as well as the problems. It is all related about the compressors and the condensers and the evaporators, their classifications as well as their working principles and they may be asking with the comparison of these compressors, condensers and the evaporators. Bring, make sure to draw the diagrams only in pencil if they are asking a theory part as well as the problems related to this and on um, all this they will be getting a fifth question that is A as well as B related to these concepts dear students as well as it has even expansion devices, its types and the working principles as well as the ozone depletion as well as the global warming related to refrigerants as well as the use where the refrigerants are used and what are its nomenclatures and much awaiting problems will be there from this unit. This is a sixth question A as well as B dear students. Dear students make sure to work out there will be a theory question for sure from unit 3 followed by a problem. Later the fourth unit is all about the steam jet refrigeration system, its components as well as working principle and the problems. Wherever I am telling the problems make sure to work out even the problems of that created concept. Before that you should have an idea of steam jet refrigeration system to its theoretical knowledge. 
failing which you cannot work out the problem dear students. Later the working principle of thermoelectric refrigerant system or the vortex tube or Hill's tube based on this I can expect this vertex to problem related to this but this time that is a compulsory and the gunshot question. Later the calculation of COP for vapor absorption, ab absorption system as well as the working principle of three fluid absorption system and the problems related to where we asked many number of times we can expect direct sometimes 50 marks problem also from the unit 4 and we can expect only one question from the unit 4. Later the working as well as the description of NH3 uh, refrigerate these are the questions were being covered many times in the earlier question paper. I have taken into consideration only 4 units why because the 5th unit is bit lengthy and the students going to work out these concepts will clear the subject with good marks. I am expecting you to see all a better performance in the course refrigeration and air conditioning. If you are expecting for any course please do subscribe as well as comment like and share this video with your friends hoping to see you all with a better percentage good luck and God bless you all. Thank you.